Hey, what's the deal? This is Kobe Kobe. You know, I'm sitting in my office and this guy comes by, he walks by, and he's got this like, guy, man, this I've got guy. this book called The Blueprint. And I'm like, hey man, you're it's Kirk Franklin. Book. It's a coloring book. This is Kirk Franklin. <laughs> what's what's up, man? What's good, man? How you doing, sir? Let me tell you something about Kirk Franklin, man. He is really short. Can you see me compared to him? Jeez. <laughs> he is really open the door. People don't understand like the inspirational format now. We have a format really because of you. You opened up the door. For us to have FM, gospel stations, I don't even want to call them gospel, they're inspiration stations all over the country, man. And you really started it because, you know, uh, you had a vision and you put you put these records together and you went to mainstream radio stations and was like, play this. And they, not only did the stations play it, but they became big hits and you traveled all over the world and now there are FM radio stations playing records because of you. You're like the godfather of this format. Do you know that? I don't know if it happened exactly like that because it makes me feel like I'm kind of big in life, but whatever he said, I, I'll just say, oh, okay. That's what, that's what I like to say. And so this new book, The Blueprint, I yes, didn't sir. get a chance to read it, but I've, yes, I've read some things about it. Thank you. And, you know, I just find that when I hear about your story, man, there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of people looking at this and a lot of people that can hear this that are struggling, yeah. that are homeless, that are Angry. on drugs, that, that are, their lives are totally lost. And yeah. you were at that point. Yeah, man. And people see you and they be like, no, nah, I'm not Kurt Franklin. No, he's yeah. just, this, he is, his life is perfect and he does all this stuff. And you have, even in the times of you being an artist, you have struggled. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. so talk to the Let's people because... I try to always give people positive information and tell them yeah. like, listen, man, you know, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta be, po you gotta think positive and be positive, and no matter what your situation is, you can recover from it. But how did you recover from this emptiness that you had growing up to to where you are right now? How did it happen? Well, you know, you you, you always hear, you know, whether it's your favorite MC or you know, just your favorite black person when stand and get an award. You know, they said the first thing we want to do is thank God. Mm -hmm. You know, and and. And that has a very great value, but when you really want change, it's more than just letting God be a, a, a being that you think. It's a God that you allow letting him in. Mm -hmm. You dig? It's mm -hmm. almost like, you know, that's why cats can't get caught up in church folk. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, going to church ain't magic, you know, and, mm -hmm. and you know, like praying ain't magic or, or like giving people loot is, 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 is not magic. It's really, man, you know, and, and religion ain't magic. And so, you know, this has nothing even to do with anything about organized religion. It has to do with you are more than just some some sale that 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 evolved over billions of years and just happened to be like like Richard Dawkins would say or any uh many, you know, uh humanists or scientists would, would, would just say that we're just from man to you know, from from apes to men. No, we were created by a God that had a great plan for us. Mm -hmm. And it don't matter if you hood, if you suburban, if you black, if you white, if you educated, or if you, you know, if you're on lot, you know, God has a plan for you exactly where you are. And whether it's a messed up life like mine, or a messed up life like even like my life has been, mm -hmm. or it can, continues to still be at times. God loves taking lemons and making lemonade. Right. And so this book is not for people that are like churched out, or people that's got all, you know, this, this, this over the top super spiritual stuff. I'm this book is not for for people that think it's going to be this over spiritual read that's mm -hmm. going to be all over the top and somebody big trying to talk to you. And when I say big, I'm talking about some, some big religious figure or whatever coming to you. This is really somebody coming from behind the podium, from behind the pulpit, coming out to the pews with the people, taking out the shirt and tie and saying to you, you jacked up, me too. Mm -hmm. And whether that's in your marriage, whether that's in sex, whether that's in parenting, whether that's in being a black man, whether that's in being a single um, and, and, and everything I'm naming, those are the chapters of the book. I'm saying to you that if you jacked up, then this is a book. And if you're struggling or in the midst of a storm or whatever trial you may be facing, this is your book. It's called The Blueprint. Tell everybody real quick, what was that moment in your life when you realized your spirituality, you realized that there was a higher being and there was somebody that was there that, that, that was going to help you and, and change your life? When I was 15, a friend of mine got shot and killed. And, and, and what was uh, really 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 kind of hard about it is that he was the good dude mm -hmm. he was the church dude oh, man. we, we, we yeah. were the ones wilding out you know right. you, you know smoking drinking mm -hmm. doing you know you mm -hmm. know just a whoop whoop whatever and and uh but still in church but you know we weren't committed you know right. what i mean you know and i was playing for church whatever and, and you know and he was that guy right he was the guy and 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 he got shot and killed by digging in his uh, mama's closet looking for a cassette tape to record the sunday musical that he did mm -hmm. 
Pop's gun fell from top of the uh, uh, closet. Mm. He fell on the ground, shot and killed him. Oh, That's man. when the dude died. And so that summer, man, it's like, you know, look, I was raised in church and heard all about, right. you know, you, you know, you mm -hmm. know people, Jesus and, and everything. And that summer, I accepted Christ as my personal Savior, man. And, and you know, uh, that just started the journey for me. The, eh, at that point in my life, I knew it was something bigger than just streets right. and weed and right. drinking and, right. you know, females. It was something bigger. It, it was, and then all of those things, I was just trying to cover up holes in my spirit. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. You know, you know, pops were there, moms were there. I was adopted mm -hmm. by a six to four year old lady mm -hmm. who was a widow that had a fourth grade education. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was raised, you know, and, and uh, you know, government cheese, you know, you know, did the big logs of bologna. We used to recycle uh, uh, beer cans and, uh, News just to keep growing, with right. and so you know that's why when I talk about uh, storms in this book and how you can overcome them, wow. you know I'm not coming from an academic approach. I'm coming from a real talk approach. Well, all right. So you got to get the new book. It's called The Blueprint. Can people get? You got a website so people can get uh, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, KirkFranklin.com. All right. And are you on Twitter? Yeah. What, what I'm, are you? I'm at Kirk Franklin. At Kirk Franklin. See, it's real simple. Yeah. Tonight I'm going to be at Joseph Beth. And I'm going to be there at 6 p.m. It's either 6 or 7 p.m. And I'm going to be at Joseph Beth. I want you to come by so I can just show a mad love to you and tell you how much I appreciate you and everything, everything. I'm going to be there, everything, doing everything. So. All right. So, Kirk Franklin, make sure you get the book. And remember, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, there is an opportunity for a change in your life. Yeah, man. You just got to believe and you just got to move forward, all right? Yeah, Yesterday already happened. Let's move for tomorrow. Thank right. you, Kirk. It's always a pleasure, bro. Man, always good seeing you. All right. Always. That's what's up.